Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for episode 3 here, man. The last episode was quite the doozy. Also, before I forget to show you guys, I'm going to quickly show you that we have gotten the newer equipment from uh, the more expensive version of the game. This is Braveheart. Okay, that's Braveheart. This is the Scholar Spectacles, 10% XP. This is money. All right, so we get 10% XP, more money, and a stronger sword. I imagine the sword's only gonna be really strong for now. It's about twice as strong as the sword that we previously had. So it should give me a little bit of an edge for the first part of the game. Uh, but I wanted to showcase the power of the stuff that you guys could pre- or could buy if you buy the enhanced version of the game. The and you might want to know, so I did decide to way out. It. We're still not doing any of the timeless stuff. Uh, just because I think that cheapens the combat. I don't want to do that. We have a lot to work with here and I, I would love to see it to its fruition. Look at these ice crystals, dude. By the flames. By the flames. So, Titan has knocked the fight out of our Ironblood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. Kingpat! Bitra! Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her. The dominant. Are you certain? The crystalline orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominance are unclean aberrations, born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. Let's do this! Shrink Scott! Adion in here, Sagarit! Oh, he's speaking different language too, right? Is that her daughter? Jada! Lost the island! What alvation, Malkin? Alan Scully asked.
out of the way of all this. She's not even fully primed! victory ever but we do level up we're now level 11 and we get 50 hp with that one we do get a bunch of extras frozen tears high potions steel silts okay okay crafting materials we like all this probably can craft up some nice weapons from that So. Well, what are you waiting for? Yeah, he's remembering her. That is her. No, no, that's not you. Not here. Oh, I'll bloody do it then. He said, all right, now it's time to slaughter. What is wrong with you, Wyvern? Dominant. I know her. Know her? Look around you. Do you think any of these animals care? I need you here. Again, Wyvern. Take her head so we can be done with this. I... I can't. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your Emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. And you think I don't? The Empire will have our heads if we return and hand. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. I told you, Sergeant. I'm not dying today. And neither is she. Let's find out. Have you forgotten who plucked you from the front lines? Who trained? 
sued you? Who gave you a name when you had none? You speak as if we don't bear the same brand, Sergeant. I've always had a name, and I've not forgotten it. Still clinging to the past like a torn blanket. For nothing! No one! And I will not fall by your hand! <laughs> Easy money out. Higher man, bestie. No level up this time, though. We got meteorite, which is a crafting material, and wireite, which is a crafting material. Okay, W. <gasps> Oh, it's another Sid. Bloody wind. Well, come on then. Fuck. Fuck. She's like, how did I get myself into this? Hugo dear, my proud desert lion. Would that you had taken care when chasing the hare? I expected more from the mighty Titan. You put the Ice Queen on her back, no doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this price. Very lady. The thunder. We'll be hearing more soon enough. You always were a fucking snake, Sid. Gather the men. We have work to do. Well, she knows who that is. There's always a sin when you need one. Jill. Is it really you? Who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. Torgal. Hey. 
His name is Torgal. You two acquainted? Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Ah, sir. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumours that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. Uh huh. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now, her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. Aware. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up. No. Oh. Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. Welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh -huh. uh, Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> Hopefully, I get to change well, armor. That armor does way. not. I, I mean, it's dark and I like it, kind of, but we can get better, bro. To the hideaway. Not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight suck this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. I like the no neighbors part. Thing to look. You know, his armor, if we could just get rid of the brown parts of it, it would be dope. I don't, I don't know. What do y'all think? Home sweet home. By the way, guys, five likes, episode four, tonight at 6 p.m. I should be releasing this one right at noon Eastern on Friday morning, uh, or Friday afternoon-ish, whatever, however you want to say it. And then if you guys get five likes, we'll do episode... Wait. Yeah, I'll do episode... <laughs> I'll do episode four on Friday night, 6 p.m. Eastern. Man, that, I don't know why that was such a struggle for me to figure out. A Moogle! This place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nap. You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm. Suit yourself. You're back. Ah, so are you. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. His name is Goots. Well, none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. Go on. 
Have a look around. I'll bring my solar. I don't know. I know I don't like to leave these episodes this short, but this might actually be a great spot to call it an episode. This one is going to be the shortest one I'll do, but I feel like the next one's going to be really long, and I also feel like we won't really have an opportunity to break anytime soon, and I don't like the way over in our episode, so we're going to call it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, man. Don't break nothing. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Five likes. Episode 4 will hit you in the face at 6 p.m. Eastern. We're out.